Genie is a 2023 Christmas fantasy comedy film that premiered on Peacock November 22nd, 2023. This film is a Peacock original and runs for 93 minutes long. It is directed by Sam Boyd and stars Melissa McCarthy as Flora the Genie, Papa Isuru as Bernard, and this film is written by Richard Curtis. It's based on Bernard and the Genie by Richard Curtis, which was a BBC television film back in 1991. That film, this is the remake of that uh, respected film. Now, if you didn't know, Richard Curtis, if that name sounds familiar, it's because he wrote Four Weddings and a Funeral, Notting Hill, the Bridget Jones's Diary movies, Black Adder, and Mr. Bean. So, once you hear the name Richard Curtis, you're like, is this going to be an interesting film? Yes, it is. This is 100% straightforward, a Christmas movie, and it's absolutely done so, so well. It's very comedic, very heartfelt. Richard Curtis knows how to write comedy, knows how to write emotion, drama. It just works so, so well. Now, basically, it tells the story of Bernard, who is working during the holidays, but he has to stay over and misses his daughter's birthday. And he has a gift, but the gift falls off the back of his scooter that he's riding, which is a kind of stuffed animal. And he gets home. His wife, Julie's like, we can't keep doing this. You know, what's going on? And she didn't want this thing. She wanted a dollhouse. Well, in a fit of panic, <laughs> Bernard kind of finds this antique jewelry box that he calls, gives it to his daughter Eve, and is like, here, here you go. And then we forget about that. Well, Bernard goes back to work and finds out that he's fired his boss is played by alan cumming his name is flaxman and then we see that bernard's doorman at the apartment complex condo that he lives at is played by mark Marin. his name is lenny now all of a sudden when bernard's down on his luck he just rubs this little box and melissa mccarthy's character shows up as flora and the whole aspect of what the genie is, what's going on. And basically she says to Bernard, like, oh, I have unlimited wishes to you to give. He's like, you know, what's going on? I thought it was only three. He's like, no, it's just a fairy tale. So it's a really fun thing how it works that, you know, it's unlimited wishes. We see the aspect of Bernard wanting to get back with his wife, Julie, trying to be that father figure to his daughter, Eve. And the whole aspect of seeing Flora trying to fit in to this world now it's really really fun and then her going around walking around new york city going to bloomingdale's doing so many different shenanigans and doing things it's just really really great melissa mccarthy is a phenomenal actress very comedic very you know not one note but very diverse in aspects of emotion drama and comedy and it just fits all well together and the things that happen is just wow there is an instance where the two of them are putting their backs against a wall when kind of in a way the Mona Lisa disappears and you know she's the genie Flora switches it out for a you know kind of Bernard has a messy jersey in his home that's framed and it's like okay so then he's like I wish for the Mona Lisa she's like okay she does it and it happens but then at the Louvre in Paris we see that the messy poster or jersey is at the louvre and so this whole starts a whole new investigation we see luis guzman come in as perez the detective who is investigating the disappearance of the mona lisa but then everything goes back to normal and then the aspect of what can happen what can do and like you can't time travel can't wish that um whatever else is going to happen but the dynamic of how this film was is really good not only is the aspect and the chemistry there between the characters the seeing how bernard is and like seeing how flora is there for him we do get a small little backstory of how flora got into this box by a sorcerer where she was so many two thousand plus years ago and that's what that is and then we see that the sorcerer kind of is like doing certain things but we don't really get into why she was put into the box but then she's set free and at the end of it when kind of you know that three wishes thing kind of comes up again, but only for certain reasons and for certain things of how everything comes together. We do see the aspect of how Bernard not only thinks, doesn't think of himself, he thinks about other people. And he's a very, very 
loving, charming, nice guy. And that shows, even though Alan Cumming is kind of the villain in this, uh, he plays Bernard's boss, it's just, okay, that's the bad guy. There it is. And Mark Maron is playing a supporting role as Lenny. I feel like Mark Maron just showed up on set. It's like, hey, you want to play this character? Sure, I'll play the character. It's really well done of how Mark Maron really puts his two cents forward in a character role that is just so there but not there in a way and then it shows that how the christmas aspect is there it's a great christmas fantasy comedy film it's very different than from what bernard and the genie is that was released in 1991 i mean a remake from a 1991 film to now really works seeing richard curtis write it is great he is a phenomenal writer he writes a lot of great films and television series i mean black adder mr bean four weddings and a funeral Notting Hill, the Bridget Jones Diary movies, like what else would you want? Melissa McCarthy really stands out on her own and she's a phenomenal, phenomenal actress and it really showed with this. And it's just the emotion that comes over you and what's going to happen, what's this, that, and the ending. How is Bernard going to use the wishes? What can he use the three wishes for? And if you see it, then you know what I'm talking about. Not only that, Bernard takes Flora to the movies to watch Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. And all of a sudden, she just has a big, big fascination with Tom Cruise. It's funny. And not only that, she loves pizza. Everything works so, so well. And how she tries to fit in with today's world, it's really, really good. It's really heartfelt. It's really funny. And it's really great. If you want to watch a Christmas movie, if you want to laugh, if you want a feel-good no nonsense movie that is straightforward, simple, and you're trying to figure out what's going to happen. This is a movie for you. Uh, I went into it not knowing that this was being made or this was made. I just turned on Peacock and I was like, what is this? It's, oh, Melissa McCarthy as a genie? This looks funny. I just started watching it and it, it, I've, I absolutely love that this is a great underrated film for this year. Uh, hopefully word of mouth gets it going but if you did see the 1991 british television film uh, bernard and the genie then probably it might be a little different or maybe it might not be but uh, this is fun this was great from start to finish and just how everything came together in the end was really heartfelt and really really good for me genie gets four and a half out of five stars let me know in the comment section below what you thought about genie starring melissa mccarthy did you like it did you not like it what did you think of it did you know this movie was coming out being made and have you seen the original 1991 british television film bernard and the genie that this is based off of do you like richard curtis as a writer have you seen the films that he's written and the tv shows that he's written uh what do you like about the writing style that he does uh how did you like melissa mccarthy as a genie do you think every actor stood on their own in their own respective roles and do you think you would have changed some things a little bit what do you think was the bad guy and who was your favorite character who's your least favorite character and do you want a sequel to this to see how the whole aspect of how flora got into the box or was that recap just perfect enough let me know in the comment section below but all the questions I just asked, and also let me know what rating you would give Genie. And be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. I'm Mr. Filmstock, and thank you so much for tuning in.